this is where we end in our previous video. There we are going to install the professional themes into this blog. First, make sure you have posted at least one of your post so as to customize it. We are going to, to deal this layout section, themes, and settings section. But for the first time, let's start with themes. Click themes. Then here, click this three dots here and then click edit html here simple select all here is what your blog look like here is what your blog look like in terms of design and here is in terms of html simply click all by select this control a and then click backspace to delete all of them then i have provided a file in the description below download it called the seo rocket.xml open it by using text or say notepad and then here simply click ctrl l to select all and then click ctrl c to copy come into your blog here in the section and here click ctrl v to paste then click then click save button here and then wait until it says successful so you see update successful click back let's see how it is look like upload. refresh as you see here is a few things we are required to to customize them First one is the top navigation, as you see here. There is a name of your blog here. Also, here is the section of ads. Here is the section of social item or icon. Here is the section of ads. We are going to remove it. It's Facebook page. Also, top menu. All of this we are required to customize. Let's start. Now go to layout section. Click layout. Here is the point of four. We can customize all of, the, of them into this section. Top navigation, as you see. Top navigation. Click edit. As you see. Simple here. I don't need this advertisement. Click delete. I need this theory section. Home, about, and contact. You can customize this. I click edit. And then their name as you see. If you are more than one in your blog, you can say about us. And here in this section, you are required to post your or about URL. Please come into my blog to get that. And then in my blog, click about. As you see, this is about me. Simply go get this about me by searching your search engine, the word about.me. You can log in and in. there's a sub tip, you follow the procedure and in the, at the end you get your about me. Simply copy from this about.me slash your username click copy that and then come into your blog then paste url in the section of about then click save after that come into your blog my blog also go into section of contact as you see there is a contact form here If you need this contact phone, please simply click create your own. And then follow in this window, follow the procedure so as to get your contact phone. We will end in the contact form like this. If you get any difficult, please let me know. Also copy the URL here. And then paste in your 
section of contact we click edit and paste then click save and save you see that there are four of them if we refresh you see only three now we have changing the top navigation bar now we come the section of for top social icon see here top section icon. so simple the we have finished top navigation now we then click edit as you see here there is a five of them in my blog you see only the theory if you want to customize it like my blog watch out what i'm going to do here simple deal to this that ris because i don't need it also i don't need this google plus delete i need only theory this three, three things i want to redirect person when you click it social icon of facebook to jump into my facebook I click facebook.com open i want someone to end direct into my page then here copy the facebook url this is my profile i copy url then ctrl c then paste in, in the section of facebook then save i have twitter also search for twitter Search in Twitter. I need this section of Twitter. Control C also. I'm going to paste in the Twitter section. Paste it and it's save. Also Instagram. I have Instagram. Paste Instagram. In Instagram here, copy the URL also. Then come in your section, and click edit, then paste, then save. You see here, there is a five of them. When I refresh, only three of them. Now in terms of the your name, if you need the themes like this to display, as you see here, this is logo. Simply click edit, and then as you see, there is a picture here. Simply click remove, and create your own by simply searching the word here in the address bar called cooltext.com. Cooltext.com enter as you see here there's different design of text simple i can choose this one and here i write username it's a hard work see the name is here and then make sure this is 100 And then click create log As you see here click download see the download is here there are two of them but so i need only one then come into your blog and choose file here In the download section, it will be in the download. Let's 
see this one there are two but i need this one on click it see click save if i refresh my blog now you see hard work there is an ad here we should remove this ad by simply coming to the section of ads here and click edit highlight all of this script here say imagine then click remove delete or and then click save you should not remove this when you get ad you are required it if we refresh this as you see there is no ads also this section of main menu please change according to yourself what you have post in your blog example myself you see i have post of full chemistry and this you see but if you have another post like styling exercising and other change here also in this main menu you see the point of change where you can change if you don't need this just click delete if you want to create another please create another and paste the same url if you got any difficulty here don't hesitate to ask Also, you see this ad. This ad should be displayed somewhere in your blog like this at the top here. So make sure it is empty. By click edit. And then make empty and then save. Here in terms of a feature posting, this also ads will display somewhere in your blog. If you don't need it, empty and then click OK. Coming to sidebar here, in the right sidebar here, as you see, there is this ad. Remove it. Simply click edit here, the first section, and then highlight all, and then delete, then save. If we refresh here, see, no ads now we'll only display the recent post also what we don't need this facebook section should remove this facebook by finding there this is a recent post this is a facebook click edit and then click ctrl a then click save but we want to remove the word facebook also delete it and click save now we refresh our blogging say no facebook page here it's only this see now it is look like and if you have any question you can ask see this is a one of my this is my posting just for example If we come into my blog here, you see there's a section of follower here. How to make it? Simply come to your blog and then come here into right side and click add gauge gate. Find the word follower. Click follower. And click save make sure it t and then click save if you refresh your blog now see now follow a display simply someone can follow by click this follow and confirm their follow and all of followers will display in this section you see one follow and also this follow by email 
to create this follow by email come into your blog you see the last one is called the follow by email click it edit and it click save Now we refresh our blog and you see there is a follow by email here. Also, let's see the settings section. In setting here, there is a something we can do. Example, you can change the title, as you see here, by simply click delete and change your title. To make any mistake you can change the title description here you can explain this is the most important part here you can explain your blog by click edit and there is a privacy this is privacy you make sure that you can click it to say yes or no and say let's search engine find your blog simply click yes and save or click no and save and do yourself here in terms of for blog address as i say in the previous video you can change it later so in this section you can decide to change your address and click edit or you can put another address example i have two address all of them you can put here for example i have customized one address you can put your customized address here then section of https as you see here you can turn as a yes or or no also in the term of uh, permission you can add author here as i say the blog may consist more than one author you can simply add author here I click add and then put their email and then click invite and here the last thing is a blog reader as you see here simply you can say this is public this is a private or as you see here there is a public private uh, that is only blogger author and the private those readers depend on your private and then clicking yes if 